Hey guys, it's Rendon with TJ Free. One of the most exciting things for me is when I can use free and open source software to create something uh, in the real world. And I got the camera out today to make a quick video about open source and 3D printing. I've been really happy. I, I dusted off my 3D printer and I've been printing a lot this week. And um, today I just finished printing this adapter that goes on these IBC totes. And what it is, we can just see here, it's just a little adapter that goes to a hose and it'll just connect on so it adapts from this larger uh, style down to a garden hose. And I'm going to use this for watering the animals and maybe watering the garden in the spring. Um, and I just downloaded the 3D model here, also using open source and free software uh, Cura. Um, I'm using an open source um, operating system, Linux Mint. And this is open source um, released by Payo Rio last year. Um, just a user designed this and uploaded it on Thingiverse. And so it's just really cool that uh, this sharing community, you know, open source software is just amazing. And it really is when you start like making real things. I'm playing with a vinyl cutter back here behind me, you know, designing things in Inkscape and then printing them in vinyl. You can print on shirts, you can create in the 3D printer. Here's like a little USB thing I, I did where I can store my USB uh, uh, drives and little micro SD cards. And uh, I'm working on a keyboard here, and I think I'll do a video about this. So this is a, a plate that I printed on the 3D printer, and it's a plate for the keyboard. And it goes on top of this PCB, and so these are the different keys in this keyboard I'm building. It's a split keyboard, it's the ErgoDox is what the keyboard is. And so it's got these different keys, it's got an Arduino microcontroller, and this is like the right side then this will be the left side. But this is 3D printed. You can 3D print the whole case. I think I'm going to make my case out of wood, but I'm doing this back plate um, just on the 3D printer. So let's go down anyway now. The reason I started making this video is the uh, 3D printer just finished making the, uh, the, the part. So let's go pull it off the 3D printer. Okay, and here it is. So the part is done. And this took about six hours to print. Well, six hours and 14 minutes to print. My first print failed. This is what the first one looks like. But the second one looks like it's pretty good, so I'll just pull it off here. I use this uh, bed adhesion method. That's why it failed last time, because I didn't use this. So this is probably gonna be a little bit more difficult to pull off. There we go, and we'll just throw that away. And now this part, the garden hose, will hook to this part right here. This part will thread onto the IBC tote, and we'll see how durable this is. This is printed in PLA. Um, ABS would be a little bit stronger, but I ha don't have any ABS filament and I haven't printed with that yet. So uh, I'll have to give this a try and see how it goes, but it looks pretty good. I'm happy with the print. It seems solid and strong. I printed it at like 100% infill, so it's pretty heavy. That's also why it took like six hours to print. Anyway, just a quick video talking about um, how happy I am with the open source community, with people that design things. You know, thank you very much for people that um, design things and share, whether it's just art and 2D or music or 3D models. Um, it's really cool and I want to encourage people to do more of it. Learn how to use this software, whatever it is, you know, Inkscape, FreeCAD, Blender, and then upload and share uh, your creations so other people can use them. Anyway, thanks so much for watching guys. Uh, go ahead and leave your questions in the comments below if you have any and look forward to catching you in the next video.